everyone, Harlan here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. So good to see you guys again. Hope everyone has had a wonderful weekend and that everyone is in good health and that all is well with everyone around you. I thought I would come to you today with something a little different. I'm going to tell you about a Mother's Day tea that our daughter Kristen is planning for her kindergartners. Apparently they do this every year in the kindergarten and this is of course Kristen's first year to do this so she's had to gather some things that she will probably use in the future. So I thought I would just, we just got back from Ann That, which is also called the Christmas Shop. Hang on, I wanted to show you the bag. It's the Christmas shop is printed on all the bags as well as and that. You'd think they could have chosen one name or the other, huh? I don't know why they didn't. But anyway, we just got home and we kind of <laughs> went a little overboard probably. But, you know, why not make it nice for the moms and the grandmas? She's invited not only the moms of, the, of her kindergartners, but also their grandmas and any aunts that might be available too. She wants to include all the ladies in the children's lives. So I just think that is awesome. Uh, I wanted to tell you about her menu first. She has one of her coworkers uh, that is going to bring her a, a double like drink, you know, the things with the drinking spouts on them. She has a, a set apparently, a double set. So she's gonna let Kristen borrow that and Kristen's going to go get sweet tea and lemonade from Chick-fil-A. So she's gonna, that's what she's gonna have to drink. It's not gonna be a tea as in hot tea and you know, tea and crumpets or something like that. It's just a little you know, brunch for the parents. So she's gonna have sweet tea and lemonade for them to drink. And she's going to make our famous pound cake, <laughs> which is the easiest thing to make known to man, but everybody loves it. And yes, I will give you the recipe. You will be able to find that in the description. I'll also put it at the end as you scroll by and you can pause your computer and write it down that way. It's so easy. It's not a lot of It's not a lot of ingredients, but it always turns out perfectly wonderful and it tastes great. It's nice and moist and wonderful. So she's making that and she's making fruit salad. Fruit salad that I make and I'll give you that recipe too. So So I, I happen to have, <laughs> uh, her theme is obviously going to be pink, pink and white and blues and flowers. And it's just, I'll show you everything, but I had this bowl for her. So she's going to take this home and to make her fruit salad. And it just came with a spoon and I actually got this at and that last year. So show you that bowl. And then she says she's going to make two pound cakes and she bought this platter to put them on. I'm, I might go through some of the prices, but I don't have a total because she and I split the cost. So I, it was, I, I would say about $90 worth of stuff, but I did buy some things for, that I'll show you for to go out on our patio, just a few things. But anyway, here's her platter that she will make, she'll make her pound cakes and then she'll slice it up and place it on the platter. Isn't that pretty? It's just plastic or what do they call that? I don't know what they call it. Does it say? It doesn't say. Anyway, it's plastic. It's nice though. So that's the platter. And then she got paper plates. Well, first of all, she's gonna decorate her tables. She's gonna have four tables of six desks. So she needed like an oblong tablecloth. So we got four plastic pink and white tablecloths. And then for a centerpiece, she found these cute little 
what looked to be kind of a teacup and saucer without the handle, you know, just a teacup and saucer. Each one of these was $2.49. And we were gonna make arrangements in them, flower arrangements, but then we eyed these little kind of already made up arrangements and they were $2.99 and they fit perfectly down in there. So that will be her centerpiece on the tablecloth and then where did I put her? Oh, underneath there. So each table will have a tablecloth and then one of these little white placemats, $1.69 for that, will sit in the middle and then this will be her little centerpiece. You know, she didn't want to have a, a big breakable centerpiece that the kids would, you know, maybe knock into and break. So that's it. And then we found these cute little butterfly picks. Hold still, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> and we will just, she'll just stick them down in there and that'll make it a higher arrangement. Had two, two that look like that and two that look like this. So how cute will that be? And then she got paper plates and she will serve, hang on, I'll be right back. Then she got paper plates to match and then just some plastic cups and that's what she'll put the fruit salad in. And then of course the pound cake with some pink napkins and pink cups and pink and white straws. How cute, huh? I think this is gonna be awesome. Then she has had her students working on the mom's gifts already, and they are making, this is one thing, out of paper, something like this, similar to this, with a cute little poem. I've made some Mayflowers with my finger and my thumb, so you'll have these memories for all the years to come. So she's had them make these, and it's of course a their handprint, and then the middle of the flower is their thumbprint. How cute is that? So they will be given that, and also she's gotten picture frames and they will decorate the picture frames all the way around. And Chris has taken a picture of them. And she will frame, use that frame and put their picture in the frame. How sweet is that? So that'll be a gift. And then they are painting butterflies. Have y'all ever seen the black felt? They were black felt and then you could take your markers and color in. I got them for my kids when they were little. It really kept them busy. So she got a bunch of butterflies like that and she had them color in the butterflies and then she's gonna glue a magnet on the back and that'll be another gift. That'll be for all the moms and then all the grandmas are also gonna get a butterfly, a butterfly magnet too. So she's been thinking and planning and doing all this stuff. I'm telling you, she wears me out. <laughs> she's got so much energy, she wears me out. She is just awesome. So we also picked up gift bags to wrap all the gifts and tissue paper. So she got gift bags to give all the moms and then she got gift bags and tissue paper. And then she got just a roll of pink and white polka dotted wrapping paper and she'll use that to wrap the butterflies for the grandmas. And I guess ants too, I'm not sure. But at least for the grandmas. So she is pretty much prepared for her tea. All she has to do is, of course, make her pound cakes, and she's gonna have her kids help her do that. They have an oven at school, 
and her kids will help her do that and they will help her make the fruit salad. So it's going to be a hands-on big project for their Mother's Day tea. So it's going to be fun for them. So that's all the parts and pieces that will go with the tea. And while we with the tea and while we were there as you know our our awning outside is kind of a burgundy red and khaki color and I have red chairs out there and a lot of red accent pieces so I need some the mosquitoes are already coming out and as you know next Saturday we're gonna have a Mother's Day kind of shindig here with the kids and my dad so I wanted to get some citronella stuff to sit out on the patio so I found these little candles they were $1.99 a piece got two of those got a citronella lantern look at that in red and that was five dollars can't beat that and then I got these citronella table torches I don't know how these work but we'll figure it out and these were Two for seven or three ninety nine a piece. I got two, so two for seven. A little wrought iron to match those planners that I got the other day. Check it out. So that's it. That's what we got for me and that. It's quite a haul, huh? <laughs> but we had a good time. And now I'm going to pack all this stuff up. I got to have these bags. As I tell you guys, I, I keep these bags on hand. I go to World Market usually. I also see them in Home Goods, and they're like 99 cents a piece or $1.99, depending on how big or small they are, tall or short. And I always keep these on hand so that I can pack up stuff like this. So, you know, instead of using the and that bags, these are a little sturdier and she'll have a little easier time with nicer handles on them to get them into her classroom. So I'm gonna pack all this stuff up for her and get it ready to go into her classroom so that she will be ready to set up for her tea, for her Mother's Day tea. It's gonna be so much fun. I'll tell you, those moms, they're gonna be impressed, aren't they? <laughs> I know I would be if I walked into my kindergartner's class and saw all this goodness. It's amazing. Sophie is scratching her ear over there. She's keeping a good beat though, isn't she? <laughs> it's real life here. What can I tell you, you guys? <laughs> Alrighty, that's it for this time. I'm still waiting on my craftoutlet.com order to come and hopefully that will be here next week and we'll be able to go through that and make that coral colored wreath. But anyway, that's it for now and I'll just say, as always, until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.